we ain't gonna have to do a whole lot of work i don't think to this uh this jeep today on right turn garage tv but we are gonna have to replace a switch yep already got the kid seats in there everybody loves it so far i really like it so far um but the one thing i don't like is not being able to control where my heat goes and well this time of year it's ac so all of mine's going to the dash because that sucker right there just just look at it yeah that particular button ain't gone so i did myself a favor and uh got on the e ebla ebla you know the place that sells everything online i ordered me a this is supposed to be a mopar part so i'm it looks upside down now it looks good it looks way gooder now i've never installed one of these believe it or not because usually the buttons just fall off and you go to a junkyard and you find another one so uh here we go we're going to see if we can't figure out how to replace this switch it doesn't look like it's i hope it's i hope it's not too bad so if you have one of these setups like this right here pretty sure see right here this is the wind switch and yep it looks like you can grab a hold of that sucker like this pinch here and just real easily get the freak out of there damn it oh shoot it goes around the stereo does this go to the roof what's going on for real all one piece or what the heck's going on here it is definitely all one big master plan piece here let's see maybe if i should i curse at it you've got to come out of deal something is there voodoo magic afoot what's going on that seems to be moving with that so What the world? That piece is definitely... Is it moving with it? I'm going to end up busting something. It's not going to be good. I'm going to be really upset. Well, on all these in the past, you can usually just grab a hold of this sucker and give her the old walk four. And, uh... They come out. <laughs> I don't know what the world's going on this sucker. All right, well, come here. Let's get it. Oh, there we go. I heard a clip. I didn't hear a crack yet. I heard two clips. Come on now. Don't you do it. You evil booger. I think it's the pressure of, you know, like doing it with you guys, like right here, you know, it's kind of like I'm under pressure, just like, you know, a song. So I'm going to really give this thing a wally mop and kind of pull to see what happens. Do you want to see it? All right. All right. Here she goes. You asked for it. Come on. Yep. I wonder if it's got, does it have, what? <laughs> okay, well, there you go, folks. Whenever you get curious, there's a panel down there. And, look at there, there just happens to be one, and at least two screws. Oh, wait a minute, it's up higher. It's right there. One, and two screws. and that's why i grabbed a hold of that net because i knew no i didn't i just started pulling all stuff and i was like you know what that bottom corner's up a little bit so first step is remove that little fish net kind of broken 
type. Oh, wait a minute. That ain't even broke. Now I can fix that. By gersh, look at that. We just look at it. All right, so let's get, we'll fix that later. You go to your great assortment of tools. That looks like, let's say it's a seven. Let's say I dropped it. You darn thing. All right, are you a seven? You are a seven millimeter. Those are seven millimeter, folks. That's a pretty good guess. I think quarter inch might be about the same. I can't remember. But let's see what happens here. Hold on. Let me just, you sit. Sit right here. There you go. Yeah, I'll do this. Oh, oh, easy now. Easy. We'll throw this one away. No, I'm just joking. We're going to put this in a cup holder. Again, this fabulous tool kit. Fish over here for the other one. And that critter will work. Now, let's see. I bet you that's way more gooder. All right, she's way more gooder at the bottom, boys. Let's come on. Easy. <laughs> Look at there. Something tells me there's screws underneath this daggone thing, too. And I don't like it. Let's just let's go to fourth. See what's going on here. What in tarnation, boys. Is there any way I can sneak that sucker? Because I don't know how in Texas Pete that happens to. There's something up here at top. Like that sucker, she's uh she's right good. She's she's in there at the top. So I'm gonna see if I can't like, I don't know, some kind of sneak this sucker out of here. It's got a bolt on because. You know, I see well, there's an alignment. There's two alignment pins, and there's at least four bolts in this sucker. Can we see? Oh, right there it is. All right. Well, maybe I'll figure out how to pop this top off of here, huh? Does it pop off there? What do you got to do? Is this some sort of magic trick? What am I doing here? Let's see. I don't want to break it because I'll bet you it's expensive. And I'd really like to see behind this and show you guys the easiest way to do it because that's what I'm all about. But dang, what in the world is going on? Do you clip up there? Do you bolt up there? It looks like you have. And I keep knocking this thing down. You know what? Let me do you guys a favor. I'm going to figure out how to remove or disconnect this piece from this top dash piece. Just give me a few minutes and I'll come back and I'll show you what I got. All right, so apparently they, they show like you have to take like some sort of screwdriver or something right up on the back side of this thing. Of course, I didn't bring a screwdriver because, you know, I got this excellent tool kit. So we're just gonna, we're gonna use a screwdriver, maybe. So it said to, this is a way you can upgrade your stereo too. If you're, you know, want to put one of these in it. That one was in it whenever I got it. So 
it'll stay in for at least another week or so. There we go. Yep, see the clips are back there. And that reveals two more screws at the top of this particular stereo. You'll see here in a second. Hold on a sec. I am not prepared, fellas. Ladies, whoever's watching. Neighbors. Get the frig off of that. What are you doing? Okay, so you gotta roll it forward just like that, because that kind of hugs on over it. Roll it forward, shove her back. How about that? Then you got two more seven mil seven millimeters, if I can talk right, and or quarter inch screws. plenty of Amish electricity today, don't we? I mean, it is hot. It's like 88 degrees out today. But it's a dry heat. No, it doesn't matter. It's it's 89. It is hot. But I ain't complaining because it's way better than snow. You know what I mean? So, that's where I'm at with it. This old feller, he don't like the snow at all. All right. Come on, carpal tunnel. Then we got this old critter. Probably, let's see. And to make things just a little easier, generally, you can push in on that clip right there, remove that, and that sucker is tight. This is for your control that I need to control. And hopefully that cable's not like frigged up. Let's see. I don't even know how to install that sucker. Where's the switch? There it is. Let's see. Looks like. Uh, yep. Still don't know. Does it slide on? It does slide on. Hot oh, diggity, bud. We just. So we got two slide ons and a clip in. Are you serious? Oh, we got to unbolt it though. Looks like we got the filate. The Philips. So, you got one, two, and three, four, somewhere over there. So, what we're going to do first is we're going to try to pry these off here. Not with a screwdriver, but with a multi-purpose tool that we just had. That had a, you know, flat head on it that I keep switching back and forth. You sit there again. I'm hoping, let's just see, for that, will you just, just look at it, come on, just, just look at you, look at it, come on, I think that's it, needle nose pliers would be real good right now, but the garage is up that way and I ain't, what the world, is that push in there maybe, does it? Seems to come out pretty good, didn't it? I'm just gonna twist on it until something happens. <laughs> hey, looky there. That did, and just twisted right out of there. That's good stuff. Some will bet we did the same thing for that sucker over there, which you just saw me do. We had it. Wait a minute, is that a little push in? Oh, yeah, that would've been nicer to see. See that little hole right there? Right there? I bet you might be able to push in. Ha! Huh. Or oh, kiss my grits. And I'm betting that one I just undid, it does. Lucky it's got one too. I, ah, don't, why'd you do that? That thing just jumped right out of my hands. Careful. All right, so I just pulled that one out of there. This. There's a squeeze on this back side right here. Where... <laughs> and we just set the emergency flashers on. It's it's urgent. Emergency. Anyway, right here, my middle finger, right in the back of this switch. Right here, there's a push down. So. Ah, careful. You push 
in on that and you can just just give her a wiggle just a little bit comes right out then what the frig is this is that in the same switch is it really what the, oh yes that's the ac switch this one right cheer sorry trying to make sure you guys got a good angle see that i think you just push down on that little tab if my screwdriver wouldn't try to jump out my freaking hands all the time. Ooh, fat guy. Okay. So now, I'll give that thing a little push down. If I can. Dang it. Something like this takes two hands. This is, I mean, this is, actually ain't that bad. This ain't bad at all. So, it's just, that clip needs to go in there a little bit more. I'll try to get you there. We go. Right, push, push it, push it real good, and pull that sucker right on out. Now we go from a flat head to a Philippi. That one right there, yes, yes. You quit. Oh, I think this kit may be from the O'Reilly's. Or, you know, the old, uh, the old van got his alternator out. Which, sadly to report, the old Hodden Race van I sold it the other day. That's it. It was a good van, but Dad needs a dadgum truck. You know, there's only so many things you can haul. And, uh, yeah, and then the Jeep it ain't much. <laughs> so sold it to get me another truck. So I'm just taking out these screws right here. And yeah. We get it. Just stop it. There we go. Two more over here, and then this puppy should be D U N done. I don't know who in the world keeps texting me, man, but it's driving me a little bonkers. That's a short drive. One thing you'll want to do, and I'll show you here in a second before you order any switch, make sure you pay attention to one and what kind of options your vehicle has. See this one. I think this was for a rear defrost on these Jeeps. This sucker was a factory soft top, as you can, well, you can't see, but I mean, it does have a soft top on it. So it was a factory soft top. And I did look at this switch because this right here, there would be a little rear defroster kind of deal looking at it. And that one looks like it, except that button's there that should be there on my other one, and it turns, oh goodness. That's what old dad likes to see right there. So, then you just go in reverse order. You line your little pins up, so that fits right in there. That'll keep you aligned. So, then you just go in reverse order. Whatever the last thing you took off will be the first thing you put on. Last thing was the screws, so we're gonna put the screws in it. All right these cables these cables are real nice I, i'm ultimately impressed i mean look how look at just look at them these suckers man they are slick the way they do them now you can just take that sucker no special tool push it right on there and whenever that gets closer i'll do that at least i'm not making life harder on myself but after I get these screws in, I'm just going to push those clips on, push this in there, like that. Don't forget your AC switch. Tab up. This one's tabbed down. And then you just hit right there, push that in. And, you know, then this big cable, but you see that kind of pulls it really, really close. So, I'll, uh... I'll get that one here in a sec. But since my battery on the old GoPro is running low, 
I'm gonna screw these things in real quick and I'm gonna push in these cables and we'll be pretty much ready to go. And we'll give it a test drive. All right, guys, so all I did, I pushed this back on with my fingers, no special tool needed. Push that back in with my fingers, no special tool needed. And don't forget to plug in your windows. Because if you not, if you don't do that, your AC switch may not matter, or heat switch, whatever. I did have to pull this cable a little bit. I gave myself a little slack. This black cable here, because uh, you know it was kind of really short, stuck clear up on defrost, which was the for the setting, you know, this way. But you know, now she's all the way yonder. Can you see it? Look at that. Let's look at it. And my cable was actually moving real good. So I'm really relieved at that. Um, I was hoping there wasn't a big old cable bindage or anything. Doesn't seem to be. So I'm very happy with that. Now we're just going to push him on up on here. You hear the clips? The total clips? Quit. And you should go, you should be able to push roughly and hear some clips pop in right now that sucker's on there pretty good but you're gonna also put your daggone screws in okay there's only four it's not that hard and uh you'll, you'll thank yourself later because the worst thing you can see or have is this whole area just kind of doing its own thing just shaking around and making all kind of racket and skipping cds and i know i just I just told how old I was, didn't I? Or, you know, by saying, listening to CDs. Okay, I, I'm that old. It's okay. It's all right. But I'm just saying, you know, it just looks a lot better if it ain't, if it's got it, go ahead and use it. And if it don't, find some daggone screws and put them back in there because it's the right thing to do, you know. Now, all four of these screws are the same. You ain't got to remember exactly what hole to come out of because the whole time I was talking, I don't know which ones went where. It doesn't matter. They're all the same uh, real coarse thread. Non-machine thread, that's for daggone sure. Almost like a self-tapper. And uh, wherever that went, yep, yep, right there. Tighten them all down good. Click, click. Get it. There he goes. Careful. Easy. There it goes. Click, click. Now, I'm going to put on this top first just for gigs. See how I did that? There's a lip right here that this lip catches. It's, it's actually pretty neat. And then you should be able to one, two, click that sucker back in. And then the little fishnet thing down here. We're gonna we're gonna make it great again. We're gonna make him careful now. Apparently these things just I thought it was broke. It's really not. It just slides in like this and then it kind of counter twists or something and does this craziness. There she goes, by Gersh. Look at that. And then it just pushes in. It's got the feet first and you go two clips. So now we just installed our own heater control switch you probably saved a bunch of money if you did too um i i'm not trying to cut anybody's throat as far as mechanics at work on these or anything but whenever it comes to this little stuff guys i mean you can save yourself some money and if you got just a little mechanical know-how or mechanical want to know how that really does mean something hey, hey. looky there and it's right there oh there we go. That's even more gooder because it definitely wasn't running out the front before. So, 
Now, even in the nice, not so good of weather, in the hot and the rain, you know how it does. We can put our windows in and have nice cold AC that doesn't just go up on the windshield. The passengers might actually be able to enjoy it for once. So, this is me, Todd, saying thanks for watching Right Turn Garage TV. And if you don't mind, the old subscribe button, wherever it is, I think that's it going off. Do you hear it? Go ahead and click it. It's free. Thanks for watching. Y'all have a good weekend.